Here we're asked to simplify the fractions if possible. Our first fraction we have five over one. Remember a fraction bar means division. So five over one is equal to five divided by one, which we know equals five. And therefore the given fraction here simplifies to five. Next we have the fraction one-fifth. Well one-fifth does mean one divided by five, but this would just give us a decimal. And since one and five don't share any common factors other than one, one-fifth does not simplify. It's already in simplest form, so here we'll write one-fifth equals one-fifth. Now these last two examples tend to cause the most problems. Let's look at them together. Here we have five over zero, which means five divided by zero. And here we have zero over five, which means zero divided by five. Before we discuss these two, let's look at our notes below. We know a fraction bar means division, so if we have a over b, that'd be equal to a divided by b. And let's say we find that quotient to be equal to c. Every division problem has a corresponding multiplication problem. So if a divided by b is equal to c, then c times b must equal a, as long as b doesn't equal zero. Notice to form the multiplication problem, we reverse the order of the division problem. Let's look at a numerical example. 15 over three means 15 divided by three, which we know equals five. Because this quotient equals five, we know that five times three must equal 15, as we see here. So if we cannot write a corresponding multiplication problem, then the division problem would be undefined. So going back to our two examples, five divided by zero is undefined. The reason it's undefined is that we're not able to find a quotient here such that this quotient times zero would be equal to five. There's no value we can find here that would allow us to write the corresponding multiplication problem. We know anything times zero would always be zero. And therefore division by zero is undefined. And our homework wants us to type in DNE for undefined. Now let's look at zero over five or zero divided by five. Zero divided by any non-zero constant is always zero. The reason it's zero is that our quotient zero times our divisor five does equal the dividend zero. So using this division problem, we're able to write a true corresponding multiplication problem. Zero divided by any non-zero constant is always zero. I hope you found this helpful.